Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tamara. It's Friday. And today we have our first ever this or that. I have been hunting. It kind of happened on accident, actually. And then I started hunting for things that looked very much like our fave Korean nail supply nail products. And I've come across a handful of things that I'm like, you look very, 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 very familiar. So we have this box of goodies. This box of goodies. Some from AliExpress and some from our fave Korean nail supply website. So we're going to unbox and look at all these things and then we're going to swatch and compare and see, is there a difference? What is the difference? Can we save some money? Or should we spend more? So, welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are not. If all of that sounds good to you, then you should probably <clears throat> grab a drink, grab a snack, get comfy, because we're gonna look at a lot of cool shit. weekend again. Do you guys have anything planned? I do not. Or do I? No, I don't think I do. I don't know what we're doing. I love those weekends. I love when you have nothing to do. Makes me so happy. I love to just sleep in and lay around. It's my favorite. So we have some cool things to go over and I'm very excited. I have not seen anybody else create a nail video like this. So when I started coming across all these things that I was like, you look exactly like this and you look exactly like that I got very suspicious and I had to order so we have like a handful of things from like gel polish to other things we'll just get into it okay so I got well first off let me show you I do not have this collection which I almost paused making this video and ordered it but I certainly don't need it. It's over $100. I have milky jellies, as we know. They're some of my favorite things. So we have things to compare this to, but there is a collection that looks identical to this one, even the swatch card. So I'm gonna put it right here. This one from Yogurt Nail looks just like this that I found. Let's take it out of the wrapper. Because, I mean, doesn't the swatch card look a little familiar? The little bunny with all the milky jellies. This one is from AliExpress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it comes with all of these gel polishes. And let me show you what the bottles look like because they're gonna look exactly like another brand that we know and that we love. Look at this. Does that look familiar to any of you? Let me give you a hint. Literally identical. Bandy? Hmm. Look at the lids, or the whatever they're called, the handles. They are the same. Except this one has a G and this one has a B. But they both have speckles. And then the bottles are the same. These ones are cat eyes. These are milky jellies. So we're going to be comparing. I found the closest ones to these just to compare like, what would I call it? The quality, the quality of the product. Okay, so these from Leave are their Fanfare collection. And I think these are gonna be the most comparable as far as like milky jellies, milky syrups go, because all the colors are kind of similar and I love these. So we're gonna be comparing these. 
with all of these and seeing if they are similar. I did not do these swatches, they came on here. So we're gonna be swatching this whole collection and just seeing, like, is the consistency good? Is it good? Is it good period? Like, is it worth the money? They weren't like cheap, cheap, but they were cheap in comparison to Korea, Korean nail supplies. I think these were like 40 bucks. I'll obviously be putting the prices for everything up in a boot. But yeah, I didn't swatch these, so we'll be swatching these ourselves. They just came on here, which I was kind of disappointed. I just wanted a swatch card and I wanted to swatch them myself, but that's okay, that's okay. We will redo them. I don't know if I can pop these off. Yeah, I can if I want to, but. So yeah, we'll be comparing those because very, very familiar looking. Uh, this was the first one that I saw on AliExpress and I was like, This was the next one that got me. So we have from Make N. We have not tried this yet, but we got this in the last Korean nail supply haul. This is their Shimmer Cream Creamy Gel Palette. So in here you get all of these pretty gels. And they're very thick. I think they, they're like an oil, they say they're like an oil painting gel, basically. So they're just like a very thick iridescent gel. And you can tell because they haven't even like hit the plastic on it. So they do not move around. We have to take the plastic off and we're gonna swatch all of these so you can get a better feel for what they look like and how they act. And then we have this and we have another one. This one we have to put together. So this one came in a bag with all of all of the little inserts with the gel in it, like separate. And then this one actually came with a swatch card. So that was cool. You get a swatch card for all the colors and the little palette, which again, very, very familiar, if I do say so. So these are from AliExpress. This is from Maken. Zillabo. The packaging, very similar. So these ones, this one has stuff in it already, but I have to, I have to unpeel off all the little, unpeel off, I have to peel off all these little things, but this is an iridescent one. So we shall see if this is similar at all. The packaging is magnetic, just like the expensive one. And then this one also magnetic. Obviously we need to fill her up, but packaging wise, these are all, dare I say, exactly the same. They look exactly the same. The backs of them, like, we shall see guys, we shall see. I am very interested, I am very interested. Okay, this one is kind of crazy. Um, obviously it's just, it's glitter, but when it comes down to like the actual, the whole set and everything, like I was kind of shocked when I got these because the Clody, Clody anything is not cheap. The Clody glitters, you know, not cheap. So in this set, you get six little tiny star glitters. I won't get them all out right now. We'll look at them up close in a little bit, but in all different pastel shades. So like this little green one and they're very pretty, very pretty. But I saw these on AliExpress and I was like, huh, that sure looks familiar. So there's a green one in here. They're in different little packages, but dare I say the actual product inside, can you focus? The product inside looks to be the same. So we'll be looking at those up close because I am sure the price on these is quite a large jump from these to these. And they're just glitter, like how big of a difference can there possibly be? All right, and then last we have so I grabbed two, there's two different ones. So one is in a tube. This is not Korean nail supply, but it's like a, 
They're more of like a small business I found on Instagram, the Imperial Room. I think they make nice quality things. So this is their gel, their gel like nail glue kind of deal. It's like a, a very thick gel to adhere your Gel X nails that you can just squeeze on and like push down. And then you don't have to like hold your nail down while you're going to put it under the light. You just push it down and it'll stay long enough for you to get it under the light without it like moving all over the place. So that's what this is. That's what this is. And then this is what we got in one of the last hauls too, is the Cocoist Mochi, which is like the same thing, but even thicker and it's in a pot. So you would just like scoop a little bit up on a brush or the actual like nail itself, and then just like, push it down and it will stay stuck to your nail until you get it under the light. I have not tried this yet, so we'll be messing around with that. And then from AliExpress, I found these. So this is the tube version of the Solid Nail Tips Gel. So a very thick gel for putting on your Gel X. And then this is a solid sticker adhesive gel, also from AliExpress, that is like a very thick potted version that I think you can actually like take this out and ball it up and stick it on and put the nail on. This is like an actual like clay version. So I think this is even thicker than the mochi one. Actually, no, I think it's the same because I think they advertise the mochi one as being able to like put it in a little ball and put your nail on. So we'll be comparing those. All of this, I feel like all of these things are so similar. So I'm excited to swatch things and to test them out. So if you are too, you should definitely keep on watching because now we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna look at everything close up. Let's do that. Hi guys, how are you? Are you enjoying the video so far? So we're gonna start out with these cool shimmer creams i don't know what else to call them so this is the one from aliexpress this is from mock mackie is the name and then this one is from a brand called fresco baldi what so this one is a little bit different this one's more like literal like oil painting you know it just occurred to me i could have i could have compared that with the divoc oil painting gels we might have to do that because they might be very similar and then this is the one from Zillabo, the make n shimmer cream creamy gel palette very pretty they are very thick there is some differences as you can probably tell just by looking at them but we're gonna go through and we're gonna swatch them all and I've got prices for everything. I was, I typically like to put like a pick a screenshot of the product with the price and everything on it on the screen. But honestly, when there's like a lot of products, it screws with the video and it makes it like kind of harder to save and things slow down and stuff. So I just made handy dandy notes for you guys. I got all the info. We're gonna compare these bad boys and you're gonna know what's good, what's not all the good stuff. You know what I mean? So, all right. This is the one from Make N, the Shimmer Cream Palette. I got mine from Zillabo. It is, oh, I didn't write down the price for this one. I think it is, I did. Where did I put it? Gosh dang it. Here it is. I had to rewrite my notes because it was getting a little cramped. Okay, this one is $60 but it seems to always be on sale for 55. So I'm pretty sure I paid 55. Even cheaper if you use my discount code, devil10. <laughs> so 55 bucks, I haven't seen it. It's always on sale, like I said. So these are, I tried to use a brush, if you saw in that first like green color. I, my plan was to use a brush to do the little swatcheroos. But this shit is thick, like thick with like six C's. Um, it wasn't coming off of the brush. I normally like do some, do like whatever, my swatch or whatever, nail art, any of those things. And then I'll clean it off in alcohol, wipe it off on a paper towel, move on to the next color. This shit was not coming off. It was like leaving shimmers in the brush. So I was like, this is gonna take me literal years to do this. So I just used that little swatchy stick. That's why I did that. 
But as you can see, they're nice and 3D. They stay nice and plump. They kind of remind me with like how I'm swatching them and stuff of the meringues from Ho Ho Lee. Like how they, especially these, these ones really, really do. I wish they had a white in here because how cool would that be? These literally like the consistency, they're a little shinier for sure, but they're very, very thick. So these are the ones from Fresco Baldi. Like what a name, Fresco Baldi. Who named this brand, this company? I don't know, but they are, they're very nice. So these are a little bit different, obviously. These, these all caught my eye to compare because I mean the obvious. They look identical from the outside. The packaging is exactly the same, but they are different. As you can see, the Make N one is obviously very shimmery, but the consistency in the actual product, I'd say is completely comparable to the one that we're swatching right now. And you can get this one in different colors. They have a pastel version of this. And they also, I believe they do, they have shimmery ones just like this. And I didn't see that until I was getting the prices and everything for all this stuff. But I found ones that look very similar to the actual like Zillabo one from this brand. So Fresco Baldi on AliExpress. I will have all the things that we're using right now linked in the info box for you. But they definitely had one that looked just like this. So I feel like they're very similar. Just obviously the difference between these two is the actual, like these are just like paint colors and these are very shimmery, glittery, flaky goodness, you know? But consistency wise, texture wise. So I bet if you got this brand that, had, that I told you about that had these colors, I bet they would literally be identical after swatching this. I don't know what the difference would be considering these are almost exactly alike. They pretty much are exactly alike, just without the glitter. So I would assume their glitter version would be identical. I might have to, oh, my mic just fell off. I might have to grab that one and give it a shot. Okay, this one is different. And I did not notice until I opened all the little, cause they were all covered with little like stickers. So this one is different. You can see I'm getting out my favorite product of life, my Jun B Crazy Top Thick Gel. And I'm just putting nine blobs on here so we can mix each color with that. I don't know if I necessarily had to after I started getting in there, but these, even the, even the label on the front says fairy powder gel. These are much thicker and have less gel and more flake, more like powder flake than these ones. Obviously this one doesn't have flake in it, but like this one, this one's very creamy and it's like the flake version. Oh, how did that spill? That is bizarre. I held it like sideways and now it got more all over that thing, even though oh, all over the thing, all over the lid, even though in the mail they had like clear over this and it didn't budge. That is so weird. I didn't even like turn it upside down or anything. Anyways, um, now I forget my train of thought, of course. What was I saying? Happens to me every time, guys, you know, my brain just leaves the room. So this one, <laughs> I wish it would just come back to me. This one is basically very similar to this, but way more packed with flake and less gel. So I just added gel myself to make it easier to swatch. And I think if I did do it on nails, that's probably what you would wanna do because it would be kind of hard to get it on the nail evenly because it is like, it's not like just flake, obviously. There is like a paste, like a gel kind of paste in there. As you can see, like it's very, very thick. So to try to like get that even on a brush and like get that on your nail, you could and then encapsulate it, but I think it'd be easier just to do what I'm doing and mix a little bit of gel with it and then brush it on and then encapsulate. You would still want to encapsulate because this shit is thick, 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 thick. That's the thing with all of these, thick, thick, thick. 
and they are cool. I love them so far from swatching them and playing with them a little bit. I think they're pretty cool and I love the colors of this one. They are so pretty, so pretty. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, they'll be linked if you guys wanna try them. But look, they stay nice and 3D. So the textures are really cool. Like I, they really do remind me of like a meringue, like the Ho-Holy meringues. Just like obviously, like I said, this one is way more flake based but they are very thick, they hold their shape, so it would be very easy to make a frosting nail. You just don't have a freaking white. You have a shimmery white, but I wish so badly, I don't even think the pastel version came with a white, they're all colors, so that kind of sucks. I wish there, maybe there is a white out there, I have not seen any of these palettes that have a white, but all the other colors are amazing. I, don't have anything bad to say about them. The only thing like with this one, it's just, yeah, like I said, there's just way more flake in it. So it's a lot drier consistency, but that's nothing that you can't work with. It, you could use it without mixing it with gel. I was just trying to make it easier on myself to swatch. And I didn't put very much gel in there. I just put a little bit. But yeah, I think they're very pretty and I think they're really fun. I love that neon green in the middle. <sighs> so pretty. I love these colors. I kind of want to get the pastel one, but you could always, I could just mix these with a white. Like, I guess I don't have a white one. I was gonna say I could mix it with white, but I don't have a white one. Okay, moving along to the glitters. These, I mean, this is like, duh, but I just had to show you guys because the price difference, shocking. So the Clody, these ones are from Clody. We know Clody likes to give us expensive things. Expensive for like small amounts, but I love their products. So I don't want to talk too much shit. I do love their products, but their prices are pretty high for what you get, I feel like. Their gel, I'm not talking about their gel polishes. Those are like stunning, gorgeous, love. Nothing bad to say. But like their chromes, now these glitters are like, So the Clody, where did I put it? Okay, so the Clody stars, you guys ready? $22, but they're always on sale at Zillabo for $20. So you can get these for $20 on Zillabo, six jars of stars from Clody, 20 bucks. A little bit cheaper with my code, of course, Devil 10. Devil 10. But why would you do that when you could go to AliExpress and get the exact same things? The only difference is the Clody comes with two shades of pink. So you get like this more like muted pink that they also have the AliExpress ones. And Clody also comes with like a more like brighter, like a bright pastel pink, if that makes sense. Um, and then the AliExpress version comes with white. So you do get a different one in each. All the other colors are exactly the same. There is no tone difference. I even, as you can see, I took them out to see if they felt any different. Exact, exact same stars. So, Clody, 20 bucks on sale, 22 normally. The AliExpress stars, anybody wanna guess? Anybody wanna guess? Put it in the comments. $3.14. So about 50 cents a jar. The Clodies, let's see, 20 bucks on sale. So 20 divided by six. Let's see, 20 divided by four would be $5 a piece. So they're probably about 350 a piece, right? 350, seven, 14, yeah, about $3.50 a piece. So you can get one jar from Clody for the for more than, than all six of the jars of stars on AliExpress. And you guys, they're exactly the same. But you get one more color with the AliExpress one because you get white and the other one you get two pinks. They're just different shades. So honestly, the AliExpress one is kind of better. Okay, these, you guys have to keep watching. This is actually shocking to me. <laughs> 
I was shocked. I was not expecting this. So we have these two. The left is from AliExpress. The right, the right is obviously from Cocoist. They're mochi. I hadn't used this yet. I got this in my last haul. So the mochi is $19 and you get four grams of product, which from what I can find online, four grams equals about three to four milliliters. This one from AliExpress, I could not find the exact one. It does not exist on there anymore. So I found one that looks very similar. Like they sound exactly alike. They are solid. They're in a pot. They're solid gel adhesives for your nails that are like not sticky or anything. You could like roll them up with a gloved hand. So that one is $4.48 and you get around 21 mils. Did you hear that correctly? 21. The Cocoa is three to four. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt, four mils. <laughs> okay, these two, we'll get back to that. Imperial Room on the right, that is like a business that I found on Instagram. They make lots of gel -X things, nail stuff, obviously. So they are a tube of like a thick gel that you can use to put on your gel -X nails. That's what all of these are for, is to put on your gel -X nails. And you can put them on and you don't have to worry about like holding it down to get to the light. All of these, their purpose is to be able to put the nail on and let go and then move to the light and your nail is not gonna move. So the Imperial Room is $15 for 20 mils. The Lime Girl, oh, excuse me, I swapped those. The Solid Adhesive from AliExpress is $4.98 for 15 mils. So 15 mils for that one on the left right there. The Pink Lime Girl Solid Gel Tube that I was just showing you is $4.48 for 21 mils. So we'll get back to that. We'll talk about these for a second. So this is the Solid Adhesive from AliExpress. Like I said, I cannot find the exact one, but there's multiple different ones on there. And I found one for $4.98 for 15 milliliters. Looks to be the exact same concept. So I'm sure it's the same. They're probably all the same. So I didn't prep my nails at all. All I did was scrub the underside of these nails with the Gel X prep so that they're roughed up because obviously that's gonna completely affect everything if that is not either filed and buffed or scrubbed with the Gel X prep. I didn't prep my nails. I just figured we were just gonna see how these stay on and if it works. So that, you'll see me, this is just the, a little bit of the gel just squeezed out a little bit because I've never used this type of gel to put on my nails before. I wasn't sure how much to put on. I put a very small amount of liquid gel, so I just put a little bit more. If I had gloved fingers on, I could just go bloop, and it would just come off very, very easily. So that's cool. I pushed down, there was like a small little bubble in the middle, so I pushed down a little bit harder, and that bubble went away, and it stayed away. Very impressed. Okay, this is the Kochi, the Kochi. The Kochi Mochi. So I'm going to start calling Cocoist now, the Coochie. Okay, the, the Cocoist Mochi. So this is a very tiny jar. I even said that when I opened the package and we did the unboxing. I was like, holy hell, very, very small. So like I said, the Cocoist Mochi is about three to four milliliters, I think four. Because it says like four grams equals four mils ish it just depends on the the product like water versus like a honey texture is going to be different so we'll call it four so compared to these cocoist 19 dollars for four mils the aliexpress solid gel adhesive 498 for 15 mils so you get over three times the amount for four times less <laughs> of the price way better deal. The Cocoist one, it's also staying on. I press down, no problems there. It's not like lifting off. So both of those are staying on great. Working great. No, no complaints. So this one is the Lime Girl Solid Nail Tip Gel from AliExpress. This shit is thick. As you can see, I couldn't even get it out. <laughs> I had to stop and squeeze it up. She thick, thick. Like thick with like 20 C. Thick, 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 thick. So 
after I finally got it to squeeze up a little bit, and you could see in the beginning when I was comparing the two uh, tube gels, that one was just sticking straight out and the other one went back in the tube. Like, So I just put a little bit on and just pushed down and it seemed to work great also. So no complaints there, no bubbles. I was very impressed, very impressed by all of these, honestly, like, I, you can see now that the cocoist one is starting to give a little bit, yep. You can see like the top right, same with this one, but not nearly as much. I can push that one down a little bit more and it's fine. The cocoist one I can push down too and it'll go back. These are not meant to, obviously, you're meant to like push it down, it'll stay cure. You know what I mean? So we're keeping these on way longer than you would even need to. It's just a good test. So keep that in mind but they're not popping off. I expected them to like start popping off. I had used the ice ice gel, I think it's called, or the ice gel from Function of Vex like a year ago. And I had a problem with it, it wouldn't stay on. I like would, it's the same kind of deal, a potted, really thick gel that you're supposed to be able to put your nail on and it'll hold it there until you cure it. It wasn't holding it on, it was just popping off. So I need to try that one again, because it was not working properly. Okay, this is the Imperial Room gel, $15 for 20 mils. So you are getting one milliliter less than the AliExpress tubed gel, but you're paying three times as much. It worked fine, but holy hell, these price differences are insane, insane. So as you can see, the middle one, the Lime Girl, that's the one from AliExpress, the, salt, the really, really thick one, that one's starting to come up a little bit and it just popped off. Cause that stuff is like not sticky at all. That one and the AliExpress one are very like not sticky gels to where if you had gloves on your other finger and a little bit of the gel squeezed out when you put your nail on, you could just roll it up and throw it away. It's not a mess. You don't have to wipe it up. I'm excited about, all of these to be honest, but I'm very excited about a couple of them because they worked great. So I just popped them off. As you can see my thumb, which is the AliExpress, that solid pot, there is no residue. The Cocoa Mochi, there is gel all over my nail. It did not come off with the nail and it's like wet. Same with the other, the AliExpress, thick tube, Nothing there. And then the Imperial Room, same thing as the Cocoist, very wet, left jello all over my nail. This is not something that you would be doing, but if your nail was not on straight or something before you cured it and you just wanted to pop it off and redo it, how nice is that that you don't have gel all over the place? So honestly, the winners are the two AliExpress gel adhesives. I am gonna use the shit out of those. I'm shocked to be quite honest with you, like, I love the tube one, both of them, the tube and the potted one, they're so easy. Like the pot, you can just scoop a little bit up. The tube, so thick, you can just get a little bit in there. I also put it, my nail away from my cuticle a little bit, kind of swiped and then pushed down. We'll go, I'll do more videos with these things, but I just wanted to show you guys like, obviously the comparisons, cause they be wild, 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 wild. All right, so this is Govandi from AliExpress. She's pretty, she's got pretty bottles. The bottles are identical to Miss Bandy, our Canadian lover. Bandy, we love you, and we're so happy we were able to get you over here for a hot second, but I think I ruined it. <laughs> we ruined it, not me. I found the trick, everybody used it, it sold out. Sorry to everybody else, but you should have been watching. That's why you should subscribe. Sometimes I say smart things. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, so on the left is gonna be Jovandi. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Govandi, Jovandi. Govandi. And then on the right, we're gonna do the leave gel. Now, in the beginning, I said, there is a yogurt nails collection that looks identical to this. The swatch card, I think the colors are similar. Like that is very obviously the collection they were copying, right? I don't, randomly and shockingly, I don't have that collection. I almost bought it for this video, but I'm trying to like control myself a little bit, okay? So I figured, I was looking at all my gels, we needed a milky jelly, 
and the leave ones were the closest. I also have some from From the Nail that were very close also, but color wise, the leave ones were a little bit closer. They had more of the exact same colors or more of the closest colors. Um, and the Govandi Jovandi, they actually come with one more color than the leave set does. So for Govandi, you get eight colors and they are, the one that I got was $37.29 because I paid to have the swatch card. If you choose to not get the swatch card, it's $33.90. So we're just gonna say 37. 37 for eight colors. The leave set is seven colors for $119, yeah, $119, I don't know why I thought I said that weird, $119, but it's currently on sale for $95. So quite a big jump there. And then I thought I had put down, I swear I wrote down, oh yeah, over here, I'm messing myself up. The yogurt nail collection that they blatantly like we're biting that style for sure. The Yogurt Nail Bunny Chew is 10 colors for 117. So in comparison to the Jovandi, that is a huge jump. You get two more colors, but it's like, what? 40, 20, like $80 more. The Leave One, seven colors to so one less color for 119 usually sale 95 we'll just call it 100 bucks so you're paying like 60 dollars more for one less color what do you guys think of the swatches obviously the colors are not identical they're similar they each had like a blue and a peach and a yellow and a, the periwinkle is stunning um green they had similar colors they were just different shades the jovandi govandis uh the thing that i noticed is those ones are a little bit thinner you can even tell like when i pull the brush out to show you these ones are definitely a thinner see it doesn't like bloop like pull the leave gels are very thick so you can see like bloop, it goes up they're much thicker but i think like each of those has good qualities you know what I mean? Like you might want a thicker gel one day, you might want a thinner gel one day. So another day. So it's just up to you, whatever you like. It's your preference. But I don't have anything bad to say about the Govandis other than it seems they're biting off of yogurt nails. That's not cool. That's not cool. We like to make our own things. Don't copy. Don't be a copycat. What do you guys, yeah, no, I'm just not even gonna get into it. I. I don't like when people copy people, it's not nice. Especially if you don't give inspo. People in the nail community, technically, technically. <laughs> you guys, I swear, I usually, my brain is normally firing on all cylinders in the evening when I've been doing stuff all day and then I film my voiceover. Sometimes it just, that last video, um, not my last video, the one before that, the press on nail video could have been so much better, my voiceover anyway. I know you guys are like hyping me up and saying it was fine. My brain was not here. I should have made notes. We could have had a way more informative video. So I will be doing another press on nail video and telling you guys all the deets, all the deets. Like advice on how to get started, like more advice. I am gonna put up a list of all the products that I think you would need to start your company and then just all your products that you would need that I think you would need like period. You know what I mean? Like I'll put maybe one of like a starter set and then another one that like what you want to eventually have that would be very helpful. So I'll either put that in another press on nail video so you guys can kind of just refer to that or, and I could do both, put the list in my community tab. So maybe just let me know what you guys would rather if you think I should just do both or what? But I will be making, you guys really did like the press on nail video, so that's awesome because I know a lot about that. I know a lot about that. So I will be making more of those when my brain is working better. I really think it was the sugar. <laughs> I was eating those damn blue raspberry freaking powder gusher things from Miss V on TikTok and she really ate up my brain. 
I really do think it is. I think, blah, 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 blah. I think that's what it was. I really think that I cannot handle sugar. <laughs> I cannot. I don't eat sugar that often and oh boy, it was not great. It was not great. But yeah, these colors are really, really pretty. Like I was honestly a little shocked by all of this stuff. I expected that, okay, it might look similar. The packaging might be the same, but the actual gel polish, the actual gel, the actual nail art gel, whatever the heck this is, it's not gonna be great, you know? But, and this is coming from somebody that has a code with these Korean nail supply. I love them. I, I love them, they are my favorite. That was like my main goal is to have a code with the Korean nail supply companies because that is what you guys know. Like I've been using that since the very beginning. That is what I love. I am obsessed, obsessed. So for me to say that these are similar if not some of these things, pretty much the same, is a little shocking, <laughs> a little shocking. And this should prove to you that I'm gonna tell you the truth because I could be like, these are fucking garbage, bruh. Go to Zillabo, go to Sweetie Nail Supply, use my code. These are shit, but I'm not. <laughs> these are good. All of this stuff is good. You can totally save money and buy this stuff. I do not recommend buying all of your all of your nail supplies on Timu and AliExpress because there are brands and there are products that use really bad ingredients that will cause allergies and other things. So I don't suggest like just getting all of your supplies on there. You want to kind of research things and look at ingredients and see if like there's there's ways to kind of look that stuff up. So just be careful, don't buy, like there's all kinds of stuff on there that I think is probably a little dangerous. I know it is. So I don't see anything wrong with like these gel polishes, totally fine. These, like all of this stuff has the ingredients on it so you can totally like go and look at the ingredients. Um, yeah, so just be careful with some things. Don't just like go hog wild. Don't do that. Cause there are harmful things out there. But I think, random little things like this, especially for like nail art, like these, I'm actually like, yeah, the ingredients are right here and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven ingredients in here. Um, I'm shocked. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I loved making this video. I hope you guys find it very informative. By the way, if you made it all the way to the end, cause we're almost there. Did you guys not even know that I posted a video yesterday on Thursday? Cause where the fuck are ya? Where were ya? <laughs> Nobody, there are some of you. Some of you were there and I love you so much, but there's a large chunk of you. <laughs> where you at bruh? Like I posted an extra video for you guys. And it's a really good one. It was a really fun one. So thoughts? As you can tell, I have nothing bad to say. I love them all. I think they are great comparisons. I These definitely win. The AliExpress gel adhesives. All right, guys, I love ya. And I will see you guys next week. I hope you guys have the best weekend. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell.